Hey guys, it's Alex from the Fabled Academy. Thank you so much that you're joining into today's sorcery opening, Arthurian Legends. A full box of Arthurian Legends. The most beautiful booster box that I ever held in my hands. And before we open up this box, I really get to get to the gym because this thing is so heavy. Now that we trained ourselves up, I'm as strong as possible to get this box up and get it opened. But no, <laughs> seriously, doing just only a few minutes of workout each day can help improve your health. Did you know that? And are you doing any sports or movement yourself? Let me know in the comments. I'm a huge lover of sports and movement in general. And get these two boxes that we already opened up out of the way if you want to see those definitely check out the channel and subscribe if you want to see more we not only do openings on this channel we actually rarely do openings but with this new set i just discovered sorcery and i think it's so amazing so i wanted to have some cards and there's no marketplace yet an official marketplace at least to buy the singles and i thought you know what this is the early days of Ethereum Legends and Sorcery, so why not open up some of the packs myself? This is a box topper that you get with every pack, with every box, excuse me. And yeah, so even only doing 24 push ups each day, I mean, we're opening up 24 packs here of Sorcery. And might as well do 24 push-ups, right? <laughs> so, if you do these push-ups or movement in general every day, a little bit, or even doing this on a consistent basis, then this can really change your life, I think. And let's see. Oh, we have a, <laughs> a breathtaking unique actually here in the beginning. Pandragon Legacy. And I think this is one of the most powerful cards from the new set. It's a unique magic, only costs one, need two, Earth Threshold. Shuffle any number of unique cards from your cemetery into your deck and then draw a card. You can recycle your uniques with this and then re replace the card itself. And I think we just hit one of the most beautiful foils in the game. Wow, I'm so stunned right now. This is looking absolutely fire breathing breathtaking and like i said i'm always so curious what the full art looks like because you can't see the full artwork on the front then when you turn it around it actually reveals itself to you wow this is a good first pack here to have guys let's go so i will just quickly <laughs> fix the autofocus so here we're back again, looking at the ordinaries in this pack, because as we talked about in the first two videos, there can be something special here. Actually, it's called a curio. Um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about sorcery. And sorcery is actually played with two decks and i thought that was a little bit confusing to me but i also thought it was fun and it's actually pretty easy to get used to and yeah um you have a deck of spells that is called your spell book and then as soon as we hit yeah here's one aside then you have a second deck which is called the atlas and there are only the sides in there that generate mana for you and provide threshold to you so these little symbols up here are called threshold and you need those to actually play the game and being able to cast your minions your spells and damn these packs are hard to open so good that we've gone to the gym <laughs> um yeah i'm so interested in sorcery at the moment, I have to say, my girlfriend was a little bit worried that I'm getting crazy about it. 
uh, but she actually likes to play it too. But um, we're together for over three years now and she still is confused of why I really <laughs> am so heavily invested into these games after all. I'm even thinking about flying to the Pro Tour for Flesh and Blood in London again. And she was like, damn, I mean, we're flying to England next year. Why do you need to fly there a second time? It's a good pack. <laughs> we have a unique that's actually a, <clears throat> a an elite and then we have a foil and I think these foils should not be underestimated because it's pretty hard to get these foils get a particular foil and also this particular card here I think it's not that bad because it's a minion a two two body and then it also provides you an air threshold yeah it's at least in sealed and a limited not that bad um, yeah I'm not sure about whether someone can understand these <laughs> TCG enthusiasm that we have if they are not having it themselves but I have to say I have now with sorcery am in my third TCG that I am um, yeah more interested than normal and that i am actually wanting to play and i have to say um when i was in Yu-Gi-Oh back then that was my all-time favorite game from my childhood even though most people like pokemon more um, but i was always more of a um, Yu-Gi-Oh head and i couldn't understand when i grew up that how people could like magic I just couldn't understand it and I've never played magic but I'm now playing sorcery and I think it's similar it's also inspired by magic and I can understand why people love other card games so I think that's always something good to do talking with different people talking um, and getting to know them and then also trying out their things why not it's not a bad thing to do. Actually, it's a pretty good thing to do, I think. Oh, third guards, third box, third guards. <laughs> These duplicates we talked about, if you know anything about that, um, let me know in the comments because I really hope that we at least get a lot of the cards to play with and then afterwards, um, of course, you always have to trade a little bit to get all of the cards that you want to play with when you're opening up stuff yourself because usually or I hope so at least that you're not spending too much on cards so this is a unique that I already pulled two times and once in the draft and once in the sealed um, so this one is also for trade but it's pretty powerful I have to say this won me a game in draft or in, in sealed sorry so I'm happy to see it, it's powerful, but I hope I can trade it in for something else. Um, yep. So it's our second unique, so I guess we have one unique left to get. At least in the first two boxes we got two uniques. And if you're wondering, Alex, we pulled some uniques, you put them there. Um, yeah, those are actually not uniques, just like this one. It's an elite that only has the keyword unique and yeah that's because of play reasons um what kind of cards do i want to see i actually really would love to see the art and foil of this playmat and if you're not familiar with sorcery i would really suggest that you get a playmat of sorcery if you actually want to play the game um, because it is so much more fun we also got this one already and the game is not only played with the cards but actually played on a playing field on this beautiful grid system here and i love that aspect about sorcery we have a foil guys there it is Ooh, i'm so excited to see what it is um, so yeah, I would really suggest, this is our third one actually, getting a lot of duplicates. <laughs> and now let's see, Vincent Pompetti, it's a water one, 
Oh, nice. This is actually also a good card in my opinion. You can tr transform any mortal into a foot soldier. So for two mana only and one water threshold, you can get rid of any mortal. Wow. Such a good card. And playing. Playing it out. Amazing. I have to say, this is one thing that I think is, yeah, if you compare, for example, the style of the cards, this one is a little bit more detailed, and this one is a little bit less detailed. Not saying that it's a bad thing, but that is something that I found questionable in the beginning, but I get it, guys. I get it why you love it so much. And I found beauty in the cards myself. So don't think I have to like every card. It's okay if I say that, but uh, I'm happy to talk to you about that. And like I already said, I'm really, really in love with the Frank Frazetta artwork, as I think many of you are. And I'm always interested in hearing uh, what are your favorite artists from Sorcery. Sir Priamos, I already have that one. I'm not sure actually how many elites and uniques are left for me to collect. I know that it must be a lot of uniques, um, but I think of the elite side, I already have a lot. I don't have a playset of everything, but we are getting there. Exceptionals, I think I'm there already. And there we have another wizard stand, another elite that I already have. So this one is up, up for grabs as well. And yeah, it's, I think, not sure yet which color I'm leaning most forward to mostly. Um, I will try out different decks and different strategies and then see what will fit my playstyle most. But I think, oh my God, Trollbridge, guys. Marta Molina is the artist and I hope I pronounced it right, but I love this art. And I will definitely keep looking for Marta Molina artworks when I'm sorting um, yeah, my cards. So uh, what kind of colors do you like? Uh, elements, um, as they are called in, in um, sorcery. I really liked fire so far, but I'm also liking earth. And then there is something to water, but I heard that water was the weakest element in alpha and beta. But now it seems kind of nice. Um, yeah, not sure, not sure. I have this unique too. We're getting the duplicates, guys. I mean, I didn't pull the questing beast from one of the three boxes from the um, from the case, but I pulled this from the box that I bought at White Rabbit at the pre-release. But this one, I think, is such a powerful card too. It has lethal, so it kills everything when it combats. It has stealth, so it's hiding. You can't really uh, get it with everything. And then at the end of your turn, Questing Beast may take a step. So it's also, when you're summoning it, it can move even though in the first um, yeah, round that you are playing it, it should not be able to move. So that is an advantage that you are gaining. I'm also really interested in seeing Hamlet's a blaze in foil. I have to be honest, this must, must be nice. So, this one will be a lot quicker than the first videos because we're already familiar with a lot of the cards. Sir Bediver. Um, I'm not sure about all of the sirs and how they will play out in Constructed, but there will be surely some that are much more powerful than the other ones. And I also think about playing the online league. There's an online league for sorcery that is held on a regular basis. I think the third season is over or the fifth, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, there are different discords. And then also, just want to show you this at the moment, Sorcerers at the core.com. I was, I was, yeah, this card was handed over to me. And um, there is a tournament going on on the 7th of De December. I sadly can't come there. I would love to come there, go to Belgium, 
but my girlfriend's um yeah my girlfriend she passed her exams she's working full time now and on the 6th of december actually her abschlussball uh no clue what that is called in english right now but that is held on the 6th of december and so we are going there and i'm not really being able to go to belgium at the next day because it's four hour ride for me to go there and we have a new card <laughs> the wild hunt looks cr looks crazy looks great Remanagement of Orion, spirits and fairies lead this elite procession. Um, 603 air threshold, so it must be powerful. It's, it's airborne, that's great. So it can only be attacked by airborne units. Other nearby spirits and fairies have. Ch oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is looking kind of strong. Charge is something that is so powerful in sealed and I think it must be good to have it in constructed as well. And this one just gives charge to all of your fairies and spirits. Sadly not beasts. <laughs> like this one, the Master Store Worm. I have it already, so it's up for grabs as well. Um, still looking for the charge with only the charge on it. <laughs> so we are looking for a courier here, only in the ordinary slot. Um, let me know if you hit a curio. I saw so many amazing curios online. Um, the ones with the alt art, the really unique ones. And we have Merlin's Tower. I also have this one. Damn, but it's our fourth um, unique, so I guess we don't get a unique foil in this one. So getting four uniques and either one of those is foil is normal, I get. Okay. Okay, guys. Didn't see that one coming. It's an elite, don't forget that, because of the unique keyword, but... Wow, and... I'm a bit underwhelmed because of this artwork, I have to say. I don't like it that much. But it's an elite nonetheless. Nonetheless, guys. Tell me if you like this card. So, digging through the ordinaries. And we're having a few packs left. Two on the right side and three, I guess, on the left side. So, um, there is another foil. And I think I know what this foil is. We already had that one, I guess. And we're getting an Elite Magic Arcane Barrage. And this one looks amazing. Looks a little bit, a little bit like Gandalf the Grey, right? Shoot X projectiles in the same direction one at a time. Each deals one damage. And you can pay as many resources for it as you like, I assume. Okay. This can be a good finisher. And like I said, there is Harassing Ruffians. We already had that foil. Um, I'm not really heavy on the collecting side for sorcery. I want some, but these are none of them. So um, until now, most of the foils that I have are up for grabs. So left, uh, right side, the left last pack. We already have this one in foil. This one looked amazing in foil. And here we have another elite. We have our playset now. That's nice. Um, still kind of interested in seeing how these back row interactions are coming. Um, there are a lot of cards that give you advantage if you play them in the back row. Either um, yeah, if they are minions like this one or even there are sides that if you play them out in your back row then they give you an advantage and i think that only plays into what i said about the play mat and the playing field for sorcery because from flesh and blood and Yu-Gi-Oh, i'm used to um, learning to get an advantage from building my deck and playing out the cards in front of me either on the combat chain or on 
the two zones that we have in flesh and blood and another duplicate guys they these are coming the duplicates are coming and in sorcery it's very different so there's more i mean it's similar to um Yu-Gi-Oh and times where you have these zones where you need to yeah kind of be careful on where you place certain things but in sorcery is much more about the playing field and where you place things and where you move things and where you don't move things and it's uh, hard to change that up in the future for example the sides they are fixed so you place them on the board and then they are there um, maybe there are sides that can move not sure yet but um, you need to be careful with where you move and where you place things in a sorcery sir jaheres hope i'm pronouncing any of the names right <laughs> so this one for example yeah we talked about it is a card that can disrupt your placements of um sites but i played it to get rid of sites in my first games of sorcery and if it hits any of um yeah the minions that get on top of the okay what is this kelp cavern an elite site where memories resurface i can tell you i mean the camera is good, doing a good job between i'm filming on my iphone <laughs> Um, but in person, this looks mm, wow, phenomenal. Genesis effect, one water threshold. Look at your bottom three spells, put one on top. <sighs> okay, I think there are some interactions that you can do with this. And let's turn it around and enjoy the full art. I have to say this one looks so amazing. It is done by Drew Tucker. Awesome job, Drew. Like, not joking. This one is phenomenal. Put it into into the sleeve and i guess this one will stay in my collection wow and we also pulled another elite i already have one of these so the place it is full now it can't attack sides so i'm not too sure but this is maybe great finisher so um i guess we are at the end of the video still no curio so like i said one in 40 we're not very likely to get one we still have three boxes from the case left. So if you want to see more openings, then um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video so much, then like the video as well. It really helps yeah, other sorcery players to find it and new players to discover it. So thank you so much for tuning in and we see us in the next video.